The aim at Valinor Park is to produce horses that can compete on a number of different levels. Not only do we like to have horses that can compete successfully in the show ring, both in halter, but also in the endurance field as well. I think horses should also be fun, uh, not something that's always serious and always in the competitive arena. Ballinor Park was started about 30 years ago and I had a lovely mare that I decided I wanted to put in foal to breed in an endurance horse. So I went hunting for a stallion, found one that I absolutely fell in love with and subsequently ended up buying him. And that was the beginning of Valinor Park Arabians. The Arabian breed is the oldest known breed of horse in the world. Because they were bred by the Bedouins in the desert, they were bred for a purpose and they were essentially the um, Bedouins' war horses. If you look at an Arabian horse, all the different characteristics are there for a reason. You know, the small pricked ears were there because they were very useful in the desert. The flexible nostrils could be closed against the sand and yet they could be open to quite a, a much wider degree than a normal horse to get a huge infill of air. You know, the thin silky coat allowed heat loss, the high tail carriage allowed heat loss. Um, the lovely stride that we see on, on those beautiful Arabians allowed them to cover mile after mile after mile in the desert. And I think it's those sorts of things that attract me to the breed, plus their antiquity. They're also fairly intelligent, they're very trainable and they're very people friendly. I guess the biggest downside for an Arabian is that they learn very quickly and that's a plus if they're learning good habits. It's also a minus if they're learning bad habits. And once they learn, it tends to stay there. A purebred Arabian, which is one whose ancestry traces back in all its lines to the desert, generally is between about 14.2 to 14.3 to about 15.2, 15.3 hands. Arabians are often criticised for being hot. We don't find our horses are hot, they respond quickly, they're alert, and they're a sensitive animal as well. Our training at Valinor Park starts when they're first born. Our horses aren't broken in, they're educated from the time that they're handled until the time that you actually ride them over an endurance field or in an endurance ride. I think I was one of those mad children who had the, the toy horses and the little um, statues of horses and the horse books and whilst with, with most young girls they go through a stage like that and then grow out of it when they're teenagers, I was one of the ones that never did and had always been around horses but for some reason it was the Arabian horse that always caught my eye. Um, there's something about their beauty and their charisma that has always drawn me to them. And it wasn't until I was in my 20s that I was actually able to, to purchase my first Arabian and just never looked back since then. If I were to describe an Arabian in four words, I think I would have to say that they're beautiful, they're fun to be around, they're great to ride, and they're intelligent to work with. They tend to be a very hardy horse. They can carry more weight for their size than other breeds of horses as well. They're a very thrifty horse. They're what we call good doers. Um, you don't have to feed them as much to get the performance out of them as you do um, from other horses. So they, they tend to, to thrive on very little. And I guess that comes from their desert upbringing too, where they didn't have a lot of stuff in the desert to feed them. So they bred from the horses that did well on very little. The Open Day was an opportunity for us to show people what we're breeding here. Um, and to that end, um, it was important to show all the stallions that are standing at stud um, and the progeny that we have on the ground by them. It was an opportunity for people from a lot of diverse areas, not necessarily people who own horses, um, to come and see what we're breeding and the beauty of the Arabian horse. And, and I think we, we did that really well.
I guess after 27 years, you don't last if you don't look after the people that buy your horses. And we're pretty proud of the fact that often someone will buy one horse from us and come back and buy another one and another one. One of the things that we believe is really important at Ballinor Park is to be a resource for, for people um, and to be able to answer any questions that they have and offer them any help.